Committee will come to order. The Subcommittee on TARP Financial Services and Bailouts of Public and Private Programs. Uh, our hearing is entitled, Credit Crunch, Is the CFPB Restricting Consumer Access to Credit? Uh, we have two panels today. Uh, first, uh, Director Richard Cordray of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And then in the second panel, we have uh, four individuals uh, that are both uh, from uh, think tanks and from uh, the private sector. Um, the uh, tradition of this subcommittee is to begin with the Oversight and Government Reform Committee's mission statement. We exist to secure two fundamental principles. First, Americans have a right to know that the money Washington takes from them is well spent. And second, Americans deserve an efficient, effective government that works for them. Our duty on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee is to protect these rights. Our solemn responsibility is to hold government accountable to taxpayers because taxpayers have a right to know what they get from their government. We will work tirelessly in, in partnership with citizen watchdogs to deliver the facts to the American people and bring genuine reform to the Federal bureaucracy. This is the mission statement of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. I will now uh, recognize myself for uh, the purposes of an opening statement for four minutes. Today's hearing is the, uh, on this subcommittee. Uh, we'll examine how regulatory actions of the CFPB can restrict access to credit, as well as the metrics and tools uh, the Bureau employs to consider the availability of credit in the course of its supervisory rulemaking and enforcement work. The American people deserve consumer protection regulations that discourage and discipline financial fraud without compromising access to credit for consumers and small businesses. As our country continues to exhibit sluggish job growth and the possibility of slipping back into a recession, it has become more important than ever to ensure that our markets encompass uh, adequate liquidity and credit for American businesses and families. Mr. Cordray's unprecedented appointment earlier this year has already resulted in a lawsuit that, if successful, could invalidate uh, all of the CFPB's actions uh, since his appointment. Such legal wrangling, as well as the regulatory actions of the CFPB itself, creates uncertainty that may restrict credit as financial institutions brace for full implementation of Dodd-Frank. Uh, Mr. Cordray has uh, been a uh, uh, great public servant over his career. Uh, we may disagree on policy, but uh, he has a, a strong reputation. Um, the, uh, the appointment and uh, the process of appointment does raise a lot of concerns uh, outside of, uh, of that. Uh, Mr. Cordray's own testimony uh, before this subcommittee has not helped to alleviate much of the concern about uncertainty, as he and the Bureau have been uh, vague and continue to be vague uh, in many regards uh, about the definition of, quote, abusive practices uh, by market participants. And since the subcommittee last met with more, uh, Mr. Cordray in January, the CFPB has proposed or finalized rulemaking that will increase the regulatory burden for financial institutions and consumers without conducting what I believe is necessary, which is a thorough and robust cost-benefit analysis. The Bureau's consideration of the qualified uh, mortgage rule has been met with dismay from lenders and experts who believe the rule could make consumer borrowing more expensive. That is a great concern. Many experts also believe that the QM rule could make it harder for consumers to compare mortgage options and reduce consumer choice. That is a major concern as well. I would urge Mr. Cordray and the CFPB to consider these consequences as the housing market is finally beginning to see some daylight. In addition, the finalized rule to regulate international remittance transfers sent from consumers in the United States has already resulted in a reduction of services for consumers. State, Bank, uh, State National Bank of Texas has stopped offering the service and, est uh, and estimates that uh, roughly 3,000 to 4,000 other community banks will exit the remittance transfer uh, business uh, because of the rule. In light of these negative consequences to certain CFPB regulatory actions, 
the Bureau should join other independent regulators that have taken steps to improve their cost-benefit analysis. Both the CFTC and the SEC have, of uh, recent, um, undertaken efforts to implement uh, vigorous cost-benefit analysis of the likely economic consequences of new regulations. With our fragile economic situation, now is the, not the time uh, for overly aggressive, short-sighted rulemaking by the CFPB. Today's oversight hearing represents this subcommittee's commitment to ensuring that government regulators strike the appropriate balance between protecting consumers and ensuring that there is sufficient access to credit. That is the purpose of today's hearing. And I thank Mr. Cordray for returning before this subcommittee and uh, for his willingness to submit to oversight from Congress. I certainly do appreciate that. And with that, I will now recognize Mr. Quigley of Illinois, the ranking member, for four minutes. 